man, martial arts, martial arts helped me out a lot. It made well, me the man what, I am. What, what does 15 years of fighting as a professional teach you? Like when you look back at all of that. Man, professional fighting will teach you a lot about yourself, about life, about people. You know, see this handshake right here? Yes. Very gentle. Well, very gentle. But let me tell you something. This, the handshakes, after a loss, they change. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, I give the same love to everybody. But a lot of people, when they shake their hands, they, they, some people after losses, they barely want to shake, they barely want to see you, man. Mm. It's crazy, man. So people- After you lose, they want to talk. Absolutely, man. They, they'll, whoosh, 180. I've mm. seen it, I've lived it, I, I witnessed it. Some people will not talk to you the same way. They will not hug you the same way. They, they, it's, that, that's one of the things that, that hurt me back then. Back then, I, 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 I was hurt when I, was, I would lose a big fight and people would, would just stop answering my calls or so, just stop calling me and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. man, today, what a blessing it is to yeah. know who my real friends Picking are. Picking out the fake. It's fantastic, man. It's, it's, a, a it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic thing, you know, and it, just to know that, you know, a lot of people are, I'm not mad at you for not for shaking my hand for uh, or not shaking my hand anymore or, or not calling me or answering my calls anymore. You just you love David the fighter that wins. You don't love David the person. So I respect that. I respect that. You show me who you are. It's all good. All good, man. You You're know? opportunistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't be mad at you for being who you are. Mm. I, b back then, when I was younger, you know, you know, what I'm saying myself, 25 year old, full of testosterone. I'm like, oh, f these people. Ah, yeah. da, da. Now it's like, man, it's all good. God bless you, man. I, I wish the best for you, man. It, it has nothing to do with me. Mm. It has nothing to do with me. You know, I, I'm I'm a guy. You could lose ten times in a row. <laughs> I like you as a person who you are. Like, 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 it has nothing to do with. I make the difference between the fighter and the human being. Some people they see one thing, the fighter and the human uh, as one. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it is what it is, well, man. Isn't it better to see it as one because, like, you are who you yeah, are, right? Yes, 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 yes. Like, I agree. Um, I agree. If you're, you know, uh, if you're a school bus driver, then you're a school bus driver and a human being. Yeah. And it yeah. doesn't, like, you, you still, you are who you are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are who you are, 100%. Does, um, was that the harder part of being a professional? Or what, what would you say is the hardest? Oh, the part? hardest part? Well, I mean, there's, there's a few hard parts. Because you, your generation had it way harder than the pros right now, that's for sure. The thing about, the thing about the, my generation is, like, we're the guinea pigs of the sport. We're the guinea pigs of MMA when it comes to diet, weight cutting, training <coughs> methods, uh, strategies. Oh, you're fighting a wrestler, you're fighting a grappler, you're fighting a, uh, a this or that. You have to adapt. You have to make you, you have to you, you have to make up different ways of training. Right. So also training not too hard so you can have longevity. Not a lot of people fought 15 years straight like I did. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, from my generation, there's not a lot of guys that fought a long time and that are doing well right now. They can even talk properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank yeah. God. Thank God I stopped at the right time. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you just said, alhamdulillah, you know? Absolutely. it's a, thank, thank God because, you know, um, I retired early, you know, at 34, uh, 34 35 years old. And... Uh, it's, it's a blessing because I retired early because of my knee. I had two knee surgeries and my knee was, was I couldn't pull the trigger anymore when I got into fights, when I stepped into the, the cage. Mm. Like I won, I still won four out of my last five fights, but I could not pull the trigger. It was not the same. And um, I had to retire. I said, you know what, man, I, I'm, I'm losing. I just, my, my last fight, I lost to a guy that I should, I should have done a, a lot better. You know, and I lost the decision and I'm like, you know what, man, I can't, I can't pull the trigger anymore. It's not the same. Mm. It's not the same. And everybody's, I'm getting older. The younger, the youngins are coming up. It's a young man's sport. I made the decision and the best decision in my adult life was to retire from fighting. My oh, man. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time, brother. Hey, it was an you. honor to have you on the show. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Guys, if this was a good investment of your time, consider subscribing. Follow my man, David Loiseau on Instagram or I'll knock you out. And check out my Patreon. Bam.